Another night of championship games in Northeast Indiana. Now we get back to the softball tournament and the regional round, beginning with a clash between Huntington North and host Carroll. Big crowd on hand to support both of these teams, and a pitcher's duel unfolds between the Chargers and Vikings. Carroll leads 1-0 in the sixth. Ava Polson strikes out London Cup to end the inning. Polson strong for the Vikings, six innings given up just that one run. But Carroll's still in a position to close out the victory in the seventh. Zoe Stanley with the foul pop-up. And catcher Lauren Kirkpatrick able to make the grab right in front of that visiting dugout. Chargers one out away now and sophomore Amelia Garcia fires this for a swinging strike. Strike three to end the game. Garcia with a complete game shutout. And Carroll earns the regional title with a 1-0 win over Huntington North. It was amazing us being able to shank all of our hits together and everything. At the end of the season, getting the chemistry bond going, these girls have put in so much effort into the season. I'm very proud of them. I think that we just wanted it. We wanted it so bad. Even if our record wasn't good, we still came in with the thinking we're going to win this. Up in Kendallville, the 24-1 Leo Lions face any eight rivals East Noble. Fourth inning, Lions already in front. Eden Roberts drops down a perfect bunt. Nothing the Knights can do there. A run scores to make it 3-0. Later in the inning, now 4-0 Leo. Leah May sends one to the right field corner. And it will drop for extra bases. May's double drives in two more runs. It's six zip. And Ellie Souter keeps on dealing for Leo. The pitcher tosses six scoreless innings, gives up three hits, picks up 15 strikeouts. Leo moves on with a 6-0 win over East Noble. And now to Butler, where another impressive crowd gathers to watch Eastside take on South Adams. Blazers up 6-2 in the sixth. J.C. Kitchen laying down another good bunt. She would have been safe regardless, but the throw gets away. Freshman Paris Santos able to score on the play, and Eastside leads 7-2. But wait, there's more. Grace McLean pulls one through the left side. Another run comes in. And it's 8-2. Natalie Lauer will end it coming up here. The Blazer pitcher finishes her game with one last strikeout. She picks up 10 of those on the mound. Blazers win 8-2.